North Central Indiana is banking on new state funds and collaborations to attract workers and diversify the local economy. That's a big challenge in Elkhart, also known as the RV capital of the world. That industry took huge hits during the financial crisis with sales down to around 165,000 units a year. Elkhart's unemployment rate was the highest in the nation. But this year, RV sales are expected to be over 375,000, and Elkhart's economy is recovering. As Indiana Public Broadcasting's Annie Ropik reports, the rebound has created problems of its own. In one of Thor Motor Coach's largest factories in Elkhart, dozens of RVs are waiting to be assembled. Some are bare frames, others only need decals applied. Almost all the components are made by hand, with none of the automation you see in some modern factories. The, the human factor is something that, with the processes that we have in place, is still the, the best way to go. But finding the humans to carry out those processes hasn't been easy lately. During the recession, RV sales plummeted, and one in five people here were unemployed. Things have bounced back, and RVs are now in greater demand than ever. The problem is training initiatives to attract workers have fallen flat. Ivy Tech Community College recently shut down a pilot training program in RV manufacturing while they figure out a curriculum that will draw students into both the program and the industry. Elkhart's mayor says a company town is only as good as its workforce. If a company doesn't build the entire unit, they make the steering wheel or they make some of the components or they make the molding that goes around the windows. So it's, it's all very connected. Nice wants to preserve the existing businesses and build on the RV industry's success by making Elkhart more attractive. Nearly 20 percent of the local workforce commutes in from somewhere else. The challenge is going to be we need to up our game from the livability standpoint. You know, it, it's, it will be harder to keep the business creators and the upper management in the community if they don't have a place to live and a place to enjoy. But Elkhart County has 150,000 open jobs right now, and according to census data, only 104,000 people to fill them. Mark Dobson with the County Economic Development Corporation says finding those workers is their priority. We talk about the importance of, of diversity. We also talk about how important it is to remember who we took to the prom. And, you know, we took the prettiest girl to the prom, and we don't want to abandon her on the dance floor. So... We really work hard at both. That means marketing RV jobs around the country with social media and billboards. Dobson says they're starting to see some return on those, and it can't come soon enough. You, you do worry that you reach a point where um, it gets uh, so difficult to solve the employee attraction issue that companies start looking at areas with, with higher unemployment. Back at Thor, CEO Bob Martin says they can patch their labor gap with more capacity and more overtime and in-house training for workers to build systems like this. This mid-level RV also has a full kitchen and hidden storage space and it's able to sleep seven with a loft bed over the driver's seats. It's all part of the RV lifestyle, which Martin says hasn't changed much despite some ups and downs. I was here pre-recession. I lived through the recession. Uh, just watching, um, you know, the, the industry really just slow down and watching the, the city just become quiet was it, was, it was a scary time. And to see it come back relatively quickly, um, it, it's, it's, I'd rather have these problems than any other problems. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Annie Ropeek in Elkhart.